Welcome back. I am Valley Williams. I'm a lender with C2 Financial, the nation's number one mortgage broker. And I'm here with probably San Diego's number one, all gas, engine stays on, Jeff Disher. Welcome back. Thank you for having me again. Yeah. I love it. I love when you're here. You bring so much energy and motivation. You get me fired up for the week and the weekend. How are things going with your team? I hear you're building your team. I am. Um, and uh, it's funny. So I get people fired up. It's, it's, I get my team fired up. And yeah. the, the team's good, man. It's, we're growing. Um, we're strong. Uh, one thing about the team is we're a little bit different. Obviously, you've probably interviewed other teams, other team leaders. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing, and I think you know, our slogan is there's a difference. And I think that one thing that differentiates us is the way that we, I've kind of built the team up. Mm -hmm. um, your standard team in San Diego is going to be, you know, they build it. They bring a lot of leads in. They hand the leads to their agents. They pay them a, usually a minimal yeah. uh, commission split. And then the, it's just a kind of a machine cog. Um, the way that I'm building our team at District Group is a little different. You know, I'm, I'm more or less the all-time coach, accountability partner for each of them. Um, I want them to kind of build their own business. You know, we do leads, but they're very minimal because mm -hmm. I feel like once you take the leads away, their business will fall apart right. if they don't have a solid business and a solid structure. So, you know, we focus on a District Group. We focus on uh, open houses, social media, and our database. So right. we want a rich, uh, a rich relationship-based database. We want to do social media by giving value to our clients. Uh, and pushing value so they're educated and then open houses because I still feel like open houses although some people think and it's, they're back so they're back which yeah. we love you know some people feel it's like a dead thing but I truly feel like when you open, hold an open house you know I've, I've kind of built district group about uh, around less rejection mm -hmm. I don't like it rejection usually you know companies are gonna go out knock on doors rejection makes you stronger every no leads to a yes and I get that that's kind of a cool old-school tactic grassroots mentality but for me, I never liked rejection. So mm -hmm. I think open houses. I don't think really anybody does. Like I don't think the human so nature isn't it's not really loving of rejection. No. And I can see the perspective of how it makes you stronger as a person right. because it kind of builds that callus, <laughs> yeah. if you will. Um, however, I still don't think it's good. I think if you can work around that, uh -huh. um, I think it's the best way to get agents, especially with the 85% fail rate in the mm -hmm. industry, to get them to keep going. So I think open houses are a way to set up a good open house. And I think that it brings people to you. There's really no rejection. Unless they walk in and go, I have an agent. Okay, cool. But at least you came to see me. Mm -hmm. I didn't hunt you down and, and you know, put up my best fo foot forward. And you said, I'll get out of my face. Mm -hmm. So we focus on those three things. And, I, and again, I think the real difference between uh, my team and most other teams is I help my agents build their own business. Right. You know, I, I let them it's push their own. It's sustainable. It's a it sustainable is. business. The foundation is something that you created where these people can go out on their own and they can evolve as an agent and be successful long term not dependent on you and your team and your leads and your resources but independently on their own long term right Does 100%, that sound right? 100 percent. and my, my slogan for myself especially my team is you know I, I train them well enough to be able to go on their own but I treat them well enough and build a culture around stay. them for them to stay yeah so I think that's the difference and again my thing is I look for agents that are lifetime learners that want to build that want more of a culture you know mm -hmm. we take trips together we're more like a family-based business um, it's not just another number on the board. Mm -hmm. um, I do hold them highly accountable, so it's not for the weak-hearted. It's mm -hmm. for people that want to be held accountable and that want to reach peak uh, performance, not only in their business, but in their life, their health, their finances. I help them build their finances up, show them how to build wealth. I love um, that, because that's a lot, of, a lot of teams are missing. You know, you make that big paycheck, and then what do you do with it? Exactly. How do you invest? Do you, how do you create an LLC? Do you need an LLC? How do you payroll yourself? Yes. A lot of times there's that whole coaching model is missing from a lot of teams mm -hmm. and it's sometimes it's just about the lead and the turnover and the and the push 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 rather than like you said the longevity of it all correct and I'm, my whole another difference is I, I want you know I had an agent recently come to me um, that wanted to be on the team and interviewed different teams and I said one important question to ask most team leaders is what does the average agent make on your team or what's mm -hmm. the average sales production oh, on yeah team? that's a good question right because a lot of these teams have 20 people and they're doing, say, I don't know, 50 million, 80 million. But then when you look at the breakdown, it's only four or five of the agents that are making the real money and the right. rest are just kind of in there to fill space. And my goal with the district group is to have 10 agents doing 100 million, 20 agents doing 200 million. Mm -hmm. I really want really successful. I want it all across the board. It's almost like a Navy SEAL team of real estate. So that's my goal is, is not just about me, but it's about my agents all being the best they can be and actually being superstars independently of just the district group. So. I have one last question. Yes. A lot of agents are seeing a difference in teams and understanding the team function and kind of like the general how th things operate. So if they're questioning, should I reach out to Jeff and see if this is for me? What is one thing or two things that they can say, uh, I might be a good fit for the district group? 
Um, I think that accountability, they have to want, they have to be lifetime learners. So okay. what I've learned in my in my hiring is that most of the people that do very well, they've, they're already reading books. Okay. They're already interested in personal growth. Okay. Um, they like high accountability. They like to be in the office. They like to take action. Um, and they want to be the best. Okay. It's not just, oh, it's another job. This mm -hmm. is a career. You know, I'm, 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 I'm building people up to be, it's a lifetime to build a, a real career over time they can be proud of. Mm -hmm. And again, to accumulate wealth so they don't necessarily have to work the rest of their lives. Got it. So I love it. Okay, well, agents, you heard it here. You heard it first. And um, Jeff, I am excited to have you back. And, you know, our audience definitely is a lot of agents. So you guys, if you're pondering whether this is for you, I think take, reach out to Jeff and he'll let you know <laughs> if yep. it's a fit, right? I will definitely <laughs> let you know. There's definitely an interview process. Okay. But Definitely hit me up if you're interested. Awesome. Thanks, Jeff. And thank you guys all so much for watching.